In this demonstration, I'll show you three examples on how to solve photon energy problems. The first question reads, a nitrogen gas laser pulse with a wavelength of 337 nanometers contains 3.83 millijoules of energy. How many photons does it contain? What we've been given here is the wavelength and the total energy of a light pulse and are asked to find the number of photons it contains. So let's start off by writing out everything we know. The wavelength, which we'll represent with the letter lambda, is 337 nanometers. In addition, the energy of the pulse, which I'll represent with the letter E, and not to be confused with the energy of a single photon, is equal to 3.83 millijoules. The formula that relates energy and wavelength is the energy of a photon formula, which is energy is equal to h, that's the Planck's constant, times the frequency. And if you recall in the previous video, frequency is defined as the speed of light over the wavelength. So if we combine those two ideas, we end up with the formula E is equal to h and f can be replaced with c over lambda. Let's go ahead and place all of these numbers into our formula. h is in joules per second. This means that we have to convert the energy pulse in joules later on when comparing it to the energy of a single photon, which is what we're looking for right now. So h can be replaced with 6 decimal 626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds. The speed of light is in meters per second. We have bracket 3 decimal 00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second and our wavelength is in nanometers. That needs to be in meters to correspond with the units of the speed of light. So we'll do our conversion up here. We have 337 nanometers times, we know one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative nine meters. So we'll flip this, and this gives us a wavelength of 337 times 10 to the power of negative nine. Remember that this unit and this unit will cancel out, leaving us only with meters. I'll substitute this value now, 337 times 10 to the power of negative nine meters. Now it's important to note, as mentioned earlier, this represents the energy of the pulse. So I'll write that in. Whereas this E represents the individual energy of a single photon. Let's go ahead and find what this is. We'll use our calculator, starting with 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34. And this is being multiplied to 3 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the power of 8, divided by 337 times 10 to the power of negative 9. We end up with 5 decimal 8, 9, and we want this to three significant figures. 5 decimal 90 times 10 to the power of negative 19 and let's see what the units are. This unit will cancel out with this unit. The seconds will cancel out with the seconds so this is in joules. Now to find out how many photons it contains in total we'll use the following formula where we take the ratio of the pulse relative to an individual photon. So this needs to be converted into joules, and we can do that by multiplying it by, remember, that one joule is equal to 1,000 millijoules. So we flip this conversion factor. This millijoules and this millijoules will cancel out, and we'll divide this by 1,000. This gives us 0 0.00383 divided by the number we found here, remember this is in joules and so is this number. Let's use our calculator. I'll keep these numbers for the sake of this calculation just to prevent any sort of rounding error. So I have 0 0.00383 divided by the answer that I just found. We end up with 6.49 times 10 to the power of 15. This needs to be to three significant figures, so 6.49 times 10 to the power of 15 photons. 
This is the amount of photons in this pulse of light. If you'd like to see the answers to questions 2 and 3, make sure you watch the next part of this series. We'll see you soon.